Good morning from the Rusterian Observatory. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to capture the moon and process the images using PIP and AstroSurf. I'm starting by initializing the dwarf, connecting it. I am using a tablet in debug mode and connected it through a USB cable to my laptop where I'm running screen copy. There is video, there is the moon. Adjusting the exposure. I learned from photography from many years of experience that a, an ISO setting of 100 requires 1 60th of a second for any object that is lit by the sun and the full moon is certainly lit by the sun. Uh, trying to adjust the color I usually go with 5000 Kelvin, but that's not doing it tonight. It is the strawberry moon, but it is not that red. So I'm going to go with automatic white balance, uh, infrared cut, and uh, focus. I'm very happy with the dwarf's ability to autofocus, so I'm just going to double click inside the moon and uh, watch it autofocus. And uh, this is good. Uh, I'd like to move the moon to somewhere in the center of the frame. It should not matter much because Pip will take care of that eventually. There will not be much movement over the next 30 seconds. So I'm going to grab a 30 second video. I am not in astro mode. I'm strictly using uh, a video. And when I have my 30 seconds at about 30 frames per second, that'll give me 900 frames, which is plenty for stacking. If you want to go bigger, hey, go at it. And there is my 30 seconds. Now I need to move that file off the dwarf onto the laptop. I will go to settings, uh, camera settings, and put it in MTP mode, Media Transfer Protocol. And there it is. Now the dwarf will appear like an external drive to the computer. There is the drive, the SD card, and there's the file that I just captured. Let me verify that this is indeed my strawberry moon. Yep, there it is. So I'm going to move it off the dwarf and put it on desktop so I can work with it. And then uh, next is to convert it from MP4 to AVI. And I use PIP to do that. The Planetary Image Preprocessing Program. There is PIP. I grab the file, drop it in. And uh, the only change that I need to do is tell it it is a lunar full disk and uh, make sure it's debating the raw images. I do not want con it to convert it to monochrome. And uh, I have enabled cropping at 1200. Quality options, I don't want it sorting or reordering the frames. I'm going to let AstroSurface do that. And then output, I want to store it in AVI, uncompressed. And uh, there is the processing. I have 861 frames. And uh, it's going to take a few seconds to process it. While it is converting the file from MP4 to AVI, I'm going to launch AstroSurface and have it ready. AstroSurface is a, another free program. PIP is a free program as well. And I've been very happy with the two of them. Uh, they make a good combination for what I need. AstroSurface allows... Uh, Stacking, editing, as well as the applying of uh, wavelets for uh, 
manipulation of the image, everything from uh, sharpening to stretching to noise reduction. Once the file has been processed with uh, PIP, I will open it with AstroSurface and uh, uh, start uh, the post-processing. This is all in real time and uh, from beginning to end, from the minute I turned the dwarf on till I had an image, it was less than 10 minutes, uh, which is the duration of this video. There's the file, open it. Uh, next thing is to uh, determine that we're processing an RGB file, register. It's going to ask me to uh, identify if it's a planet or stars. Double click on it and uh, analyze. The analysis will allow us to choose uh, how many frames to stack. I'm, I'm going with 20%, 19.5, 20 20% of the frames is what I usually stack for, a, uh, for processing planets most of the moon and the sun. Identify how many pixels we want. Uh, these are the anchor points. And then stack. I left all the other selections uh, default and there it is edit the first thing to do is to adjust the levels makes it just a touch brighter and then to align uh, RGB even though stacking had done the aligning, I'd like to verify that we are not too far off. Uh, select the region of interest and align it. The error that I have is just fraction of pixels, which is fine. If I had a much bigger error, then I would not allow it to do the automatic aligning. Now wavelets. This is where the magic happens. Uh, select an area. And then start by uh, filtering the noise. It's about a full pixel worth. And then applying the wavelets. You don't need to go too far with the high frequency wavelets. I like to leave the strength at about halfway, about 100. And then I go to the low frequency wavelets and see if these will give me uh, anything useful. Uh, this is the improvement just for the high frequency wavelets. The low frequency wavelets will give me slightly better definition of the moon. Not that better. And uh, that should be it. Uh, I'm reasonably happy with the image. So do all. And then uh, save it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, you can choose to save it in TIFF or in JPEG and I will be saving it in JPEG. And uh, so long from the Rooster Observatory.